Now, I will introduce Silk Rail, which is short route to Europe. Silk Rail connects Northeast Asia, China, Russia, Europe, transcontinental international rail network, which is safe and fast route to Europe. In passenger and cargo transportation center, the long distance movement from continent of pivotal role for each country. Main route are TSR, TCR, TMR, TMGR, which will be explained in detail in the next chapter. Transcontinental ray freight gap disappeared in the aftermath of high sea and air freight. Continuous port delays and supply chain change further increase competitiveness in terms of lead time. So, post COVID-19, rail transport to Europe breaks the new history. This picture shows the route of TSR, TMR, and TCR. Manjuhuli, Alashan Q, pressed the transfer point of TMR, TCR, TSR, respectively. Please see the TCR in the picture. TCR means Trans-China Railway, which links the eastern end, Ryanyungang, Jiangsu, and northwestern end, Urumuch, Sinkang of China, which leads to Kazakhstan and other Central Asian country, Mongolia and Russia across the border. The distance from Qingdao to Hyogos is 4,030 kilometers. Hugos to Tashkent is 1,103 kilometers. So total distance from Qingdao to Tashkent is 5,133 kilometers. Main points of TCR are Urumuch, Almaty, Tashkent, etc. Please see the TSR in the picture. TSR means Trans-Siberian Railway, which links eastern end, Bostochny, Vladivostok, and western end, Moscow, St. Petersburg of Russia, which leads to other CIS country and many European country. The total distance from Bostochny to Moscow is 9,363 kilometers. From Bostochny to St. Petersburg is 9,713 km. Main point of TSR, Moscow, St. Petersburg, etc. This is a video about TSR provided by Emit Songopta. This video explains the Trans-Siberian Railway route from Moscow to Vladivostok. This topic is a part of NCERT geography and is helpful for understand TSR easily. In this video, we are going to understand Trans-Siberian Railway. It is the longest railway in the world. It was built between 1891 and 1916 to connect Moscow with the far east city of Vladivostok. Now these are the respective cities that this railway passes through. And it is also one of the most important route in Asia. And the entire length of this railway is around 9,332 kilometers. And it's a double tracked and electrified transcontinental railway in the world. So because of this railway line, it has opened up the Asian region to the West European markets because it runs across the Ural mountains. Now there are these three important terminals of the Trans-Siberian Railway. They are Moscow, Beijing and Vladivostok. Now the reason I say these three places are important because a lot of the other connecting train routes can be connected through these terminals. Like for example, Moscow can be reached by train from anywhere in Europe. So people from London, Paris, Amsterdam, Berlin, Warsaw. So places like these are nicely connected to Moscow through train routes. And then if you look at the Asian region, a lot of the places like Hong Kong, Guangzhou, then Lhasa in Tibet, Bangkok, 
all these places can be connected to the Beijing terminal through rail routes. And then we have other modes of transport like ferries and buses. Now if you look at the far eastern end of this Trans-Siberian Railway, the end station is Vladivostok. So from Vladivostok, ferries are available to visit Fushiki, Japan and the city of Incheon and Dongae in South Korea. So the whole point is that when you look at this Trans-Siberian Railway from the world map point of view, it looks like this giant rail map that is connecting continents, that is the Europe with the East and Southeast Asia which is kind of mind-boggling considering the fact that the potential of the railways was at its prime level during the late 19th and the early 20th century. So, this is all you had to know about the longest railway in the world, the Trans-Siberian Railway. This picture shows the TMGR. TMGR means the Trans-Mongolian Railway, which links Mongolia to China or Russia across the border. The distance from Sinkang to Jamiud is 950 kilometers, from Jamiud to Ulaanbaatar is 714 kilometers, so total distance is 1664 kilometers. Main point of TMGR are Ulaanbaatar, Jamiud, etc. They are freight porters that provide international logistics service in Silk Rail, Ujin Global Logistics, Unique Logistics, MTL Shipping Agency, Taeung Logistics, MSLP, and CJ Logics. Please refer to the table for the year of incorporation and the service provided by the company. Now, I will introduce Milkron Logistics. Milkron is a method in which a milk company collects milk by visiting livestock farm. Likewise, a manufacturer collects product by visiting various customer manufacturer. 1. It lowers the inventory level by procuring the required quantity from supplier. Two, it increases the loading efficiency of a truck by reducing the operating number of a truck. Three, therefore, it can reduce the logistics cost. This service can reduce logistics and inventory cost as well as shorten the lead time by using trailer with Korean and Japanese vehicle number plate with the government permission. The first implement of Korea-Japan double number charge in Korea, transshipment is unnecessary and the driver on both load. For example, the Japanese automaker could save about 20% of procurement cost of part. As a result, omitting intermediate step in logistics such as loading part into container, loading and unloading and storage at the warehouse, and warehousing, shipping. This service has the effect of dramatically reducing the lead time from the part production plant to the finished vehicle production line from 30 days to 3 days. This service carries out the process of bringing in automobile part transport vehicle wing body charge using a regular passenger ship Fugan ferry operated between Busan and Shimonoseki, collecting and sorting and repackaging the part while going around the domestic part products producer and then loading them in a dedicated vehicle for debanning them. This is a picture of a vehicle attached with a double license plate in downtown Busan. This is a smart logistics center in Busan FTZ. FTZ means free trade zone. I would like to take a look at the changing functions and roles of the port industry. In the past, as a cargo depend 
don't port, Busan port simply perform the function of gateway port. Currently, this port serves as a transshipment center for Northeast Asia, and simple transshipment cargo has been added to the import export cargo. In the short to medium term, the port serves as a cargo generating port with the import export cargo plus simple transshipment cargo plus high value added transshipment cargo. High value added cargo is cargo including reprocessing and export. In the long term, it is expected that this port will be transformed into a port that integrate economic and logistic in connection with this district park, and it even plays a role of intercontinental linkage through enhanced government support. The Korean government built Busan Newport to allow Busan to serve as a global logistics hub. As you can see in the picture, the existing port, North Port, is 25 kilometers away from the new port. Global Ocean Going vessels called at the new port, and it is used as a hub port for Northeast Asia. Gamcheon Port is a specialized port for general cargo, bulk cargo, and frozen refrigerated cargo. This is a picture of the new port construction that started in 1995. The full scale construction of new port has been started in 2003, and it was operated with three berths in 2006. As of 2017, the new port was operated with 23 berths, and a total of 57 berths will be operated by 2040. The photo shows the berth currently in operation and plans for 2030, expanding from the current 23 berths to 47 berths. The new port is expected to play a significant role as a hub port in Northeast Asia. This is the Newport Northport's container volume trend. As of 2010, the Newport handled 5.48 million TU, and the Northport handled 8.7 million TU. However, as of 2011, the handling of cargo volume between the new port and the north port was reversed. As of 2021, the new port handled 15.53 million TU, and the north port 7.17 million TU. Based on the total 22.7 million TU, the total cargo through full rate of the new port is 68.5 4% and that of the north port is 31.6%. Along with the construction of the new port, the Korean government has also developed a district park for the new port by designating a free trade zone, FTZ, with a total area of 9.4 million square meter, thereby providing low rent and incentive. By designating the above district park, the government aims to attract domestic foreign logistics manufacturing companies and develop the new port into a logistics hub by linking the port to infrastructure, port to district park, and the district this tree park industrial complex. The purpose of building the 
port cluster is to establish the global leading port. In addition, this new port is continuously securing a site that can respond to various demands such as a rapid change in the logistics environment in the future. The Port District Park Second Class is a support facility for the establishment of an international port logistics cluster and includes logistics support facility such as general business facilities, education research facility, international conference hall, and exhibition hall. The new port aims to create added values and jobs by developing the district park. LCL FCL is a value-added model that imports goods from the US, Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Europe, etc. performs demanding, storing, loading work in the district park and delivers them to Oceania, Asia region. In addition, the model performs value-added activities to create local jobs such as labeling, assembling, repacking, etc. Cost reduction that reduced the logistic cost with the integrated logistics compared to shipping directly to each country. In addition, shorten lead time, rapid response and delivery to customer, easy transshipment to free trade zone. This is a real model case. Look at the picture before after the change. In the past, cargo was transported by sea from China, Southeast Asia, and Southwest Asia to Kyushu region of Japan, and then shipped all over Japan. These methods had problems with the saturated distribution center in Kyushu, high labor and distribution cost, and cargo management and tracing from Chinese distribution centers, Qingdao. To solve this issue, a distribution center located in the district park of Busan New Port was used, and the distribution center played a role of integrating the distribution center in China and Japan. This allows maritime transportation to the nearest port for each store in Japan through smooth handling of cargo to from Korea, advanced logic center function and the feeder service from Busan, thereby reducing the logistic cost by more than 30% compared to the existing transportation route. In addition, the logistics center, which attracted the new, the new transport volume, was to carry out the new import marine transport, new logistics center business, additional logistics processing business, such as container loading, exporting, inventory management, sorting, labeling, etc., and new export marine transport. This is a cargo warehousing operation process. This process proceeds in the order of depending cargo from containers, warehousing cargo into the distribution center, conducting warehousing inspection, and sorting cargo. This is a cargo release operation process. This process proceeds in the order of sorting the cargo to be released, performing a delivery inspection, arranging the cargo for the stopping work, and conducting the stopping work. The logistics center also performs value-added logistics operation, such as internal product inspection, tag labeling, SCM label attachment, disassembly, and 
assembly. Please watch the Busan Port promotional video provided by Busan Port Authority, PPA. This is a useful video including the history of Busan Port and its port facility. Northeast Asia, leader of the global economy. And at the center, Busan Port. Global Hub, Busan Port. Since its opening, Busan Port has seen continuous growth as the main port of Korea. Through its handling of both Korea's imports and exports, and its transshipment of freight from all over the world, Busan Port has helped lead Korea's economic development. Through the accuracy, efficiency, and optimal productivity of marine transportation services at specialized port facilities in Busan New Port, North Port, Gamcheon Port and Dadepo Port. Busan Port handled a total of 20 million TEU of container shipments in 2017. Busan Port is now aiming to become a global logistics hub port with a new goal of 30 million TEU in 2030. Located on the main shipping route between Europe and North America, Busan Port is busy establishing a global network to connect over 600 ports in more than 150 countries around the world. Here, with the latest facilities and excellent manpower, Busan Port provides stable marine transportation and port logistics services to customers 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Busan Port is effectively managed dealing preemptively with changes to the maritime environment and shipping alliances reshuffling and preparation to receive ultra-large container vessels. Busan New Port is a central transshipment port attracting the vessels of global, mega-scale shipping companies. For this purpose, New Port boasts outstanding port infrastructure, a wide port district park, and an unbeatable connected transportation network. Meanwhile, Busan North Port has an important role as a hub port for intra-Asia shipping companies. Designated as a free trade zone, the New Port District Park Complex is the large-scale business complex that offers high-value logistical services alongside various incentives and tax exemption benefits. Busan Port will expand its optimal infrastructure and port facilities to enable super-scale 30,000 TEU vessels to dock also helping create high-quality jobs and reinvigorate the local economy. Busan Port is currently redeveloping the North Port's rundown facilities into a center of international maritime tourism and destination demonstrating harmony between people, business, culture and art. The complex aims to become a focal point for the new maritime economy bringing in over 10 million visitors a year to its eco-friendly waterfront, marina, broadcasting studio, exhibition and convention center, and other attractions. This new maritime capital for Northeast Asia is expected to create 120,000 additional jobs and an economic value of 32 trillion Korean won. Busan Port Authority was established in 2004 as Korea's first port authority with the mission of cultivating Busan Port into a top two global transshipment hub in line with the fourth industrial revolution bringing limitless innovation and challenges we have formed a smart port with optimized cargo handling systems implementing clean, green and eco-friendly policies 
through safety measure and welfare systems for port workers, we have formed a people-oriented port environment. To become a port that the Korean people can be proud of, Busan Port Authority makes the utmost of efforts to create an optimal business environment. Through the improvement of port-related employee welfare and aid, implementing social values as a public corporation, and leading the global market of maritime transportation and port logistics. Busan Port will become a hub for maritime business, tourism, and port services, and be the center of new maritime economy. From the gateway to Asia, to the center port of the world. Global Hub, Busan Port. Please watch the promotional video provided by Busan Chine Free Economic Zone, BJ Fed. This video container contains comprehensive information about five reasons why multinational company should invest in BJ Fed. The main reason is that BJ Fed is located in the center of South Korea number one manufacturing cluster. The second reason is that is it is current centrally located in Northeast Asia, serving as a global hub for international business and logistics. The third reason is that optimal natural environment, which is the beautiful landscape, natural conditions, as well as the leisure facility. The first reason is its abundance of high-quality human resources. Lastly, BJ Faith offers a relaxed regulation and special administrative service. Hello, we are Sonny and Jimmy. We live in Busan Jinhe Free Economic Zone, the global hub for international business and logistics. Strategically located in the center of Northeast Asian economic crossroad, all eyes from multinational companies are on BJ Fez. 1,652 tenant companies, including 136 foreign invested companies, have chosen BJ Fez as their manufacturing and logistics base and their total annual sales is about $19 billion. Shall we take a look at why BJ Fez is so attractive to multinational companies? The main reason is that BJ Fez is located in the center of South Korea's number one manufacturing cluster. South Korea's shipbuilding industry is ranked number one in the world, and 90% of nation's shipbuilding parts and materials industries, which is more than 50% of world market share, are located nearby BJ Fez. Also, South Korea's top automobile manufacturing companies are located here in BJ Fez, manufacturing more than 50% of nation's automobile parts. Moreover, BJ Fez is home to about 40% of domestic machinery and mechatronics industries, accounting about 10% of world market share. The second reason why BJ Fez is attracting investments from multinational companies. It is centrally located in Northeast Asia, serving as the global hub for international business and logistics. BJ Fez will be the terminus of continental freight railways when they're constructed in the future. In addition, Jinhan Newport will be developed into a world-class logistics hub with 56 berths by 2040. Kime International Airport, which operates 1,343 flights to 43 cities in 13 countries a week, will further enhance the competitiveness of tenant companies in BJ Fez. The third reason why BJ Fez is attracting investments from multinational companies. Thanks to its beautiful landscape, natural conditions, as well as leisure facilities, BJ Fez has a lot more to offer to foreign investors. 
Busan and Qinghe are well known for their mild climate, beautiful beaches and mountains, and a wealth of touristic attractions along with resorts and leisure facilities. This regional distinctiveness makes them the perfect venue for international events and festivals. The fourth reason is its abundance of high-quality human resources. Highly skilled human resources educated and trained by six international schools, 26 universities, and 21 technical colleges meet the investors' labor demand efficiently and rapidly. Lastly, BJ Fez offers relaxed regulations and special administrative services. BJ Fez offers various incentives to foreign invested companies such as tax and rental reductions, cash grant, and relaxed regulations in labor, education, and health care. Furthermore, BJ Fez offers differentiated services, including acceptance of civil documents written in foreign languages, business partner matching by project managers in respective industries, and information on incentives for foreign investors. BJ Fez is your international business partner for your success. Now, can you see why multinational companies are focusing on BJ Fez? Sunny and Ginny always look forward to meeting you at BJ Fez. Goodbye! This is a smart logic center in Busan free trade zone which will be organized by BPA. It is an establishment of a complex joint logistics center, creating a logistics base to respond to import, export, transshipment cargo, and postal regional spe specialized industry. It is to make Busan Newport into a transshipment cargo consignment processing industry cluster. By creating a complex joint logistics center, it serves a logist hub logistics center, uh, a value-added creation logistics center, and an innovation business center. Logistic hub logistics center are based on export import cargo then connect the inland base with the district park transport network, maximize the logistics distribution efficiency. Value-added logistics centers are logistics centers for transshipment cargo, such as processing, assembly, and packaging. Innovation business center for startup incubator and R&D support facility. Establishment of high-tech logistics center by acquiring smart logistics center certification in order to modernize the logic center and in induce the innovation in logistics technology. Introduction and operation of automation technology then, smart logic centers certification. Automation of work process, stabilization of structural performance, economics of performance management, and information system efficiency. Establishment of eco-friendly green logistics center through efficient use of energy. It is to use energy efficiently to become energy independent and create an eco-friendly green logistics center. It uses waste and cooling in the process of measuring and the processing environment information in the logic center, optimal operation of facility in the logic center, renewable energy applied by installing sunlight on the roof, and the low temperature demanding process under the refrigeration logistics center. This is a picture of a smart logistics center located in the Western Container Terminal District Park of Busan, New Port. Size is 125,699 square meters 
and will be constructed around 2012, 2022, and started operation around 2025. This is an overview of Smart Logistics Center. Gross floor area is 45,000 square meter and the yard is 47,000 square meter. The function of the center combining cutting edge fault industrial technology such as robot, IoT, big data, and AI. Increase the level of automation in cargo loading and unloading and warehousing. Efficient operating system capable real demand forecasting will be introduced. The expected effect are as of below, based on excellent port, infra port infrastructure, providing customer-oriented customized logistics service, securing new cargo volume through support for small and medium-sized logistics companies and startup share the growth with a small and medium-sized logistics company. Compared to existing logistics center, peaking working hour are 15% and operating costs are reduced by more than 20% and productivity is increased by more than 10%. This is presented by HPS Trade, Japanese freight forwarder in Thailand. Hello, it's Eno. I would like to explain about land bridge transportation using C and AMP. Air and cross border truck is time. In the previous video, I explained transportation method combined ships and railroads, and the various routes. If you haven't seen it yet, please take a look at the link in the overview section. If you are in charge of international logistics, you should have an understanding of various international multimodal transportation. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at C and AMP. Airland Bridge Transportation. As the name implies, it is transportation method of transferring cargo transported by sea to an airplane. The most famous C and AMP. Air routes from Asia to Europe are Hong Kong and Singapore, as they are the hubs of Asia, and are close to the ports and airports. For example, electronic components manufactured in Thailand, can be transported by sea to Hong Kong and sorted, and then transported by air to all over Europe. I think it would be easier to understand it if you watch the video of the bonded transport as well. Therefore, I attach the link in the overview section. Next, let's look at C and AMP. Air from Asia to Latin America. There are routes for cargo, for Central and South America from Asia by sea, 1, to the west coast of the United States, or, 2, to Miami via the Panama Canal, and then by air to various locations in Central and South America. You can choose where to load and unload on a case-by-case -case basis, including price and space on the ship. Thus, the advantages of combining ocean and air, in long-distance transportation from Asia to Europe and the US, are shorter transportation time and better cost performance. It is faster than only ocean transport, and cheaper than only air transport. It is possible to optimize logistics, by using different methods depending on the cargo handled and the situation. Next, I would like to explain transportation using cross-border truck. Cross-border truck is a method to transfer cargo across land borders by truck or trailer. The features of this transportation method are speed and stable schedule. In the case of ocean transport, it takes about two days at the port until the cargo picked up from the shipper is delivered to the terminal, loaded onto the ship, and unloaded from the ship at the port of import. Nowadays, due to the congestion at the ports, there is also waiting time offshore until the cargo is unloaded at the port. In US, it is not uncommon for a ship to wait a week offshore. In addition, even though you do book the space, there are irregularities such as rollover of containers, due to overbooking by the shipping company, and the containers are put on the next week's ship. On the other hand, if you use cross-border truck, 
Once the cargo is loaded onto the vehicle, the rest of the journey to the border is basically non-stop. There is no problem of waiting for several days to unload, as is the case with ocean transport. In addition, since it is a land-based transportation, the distance traveled is shorter, since it can be done in a straight line along the road. There is also land bridge transportation using cross-border truck. Our company arranges land bridge transportation, for cargo imported by sea from Japan to Thailand by container, and then transported from Thailand to Myanmar by cross-border truck. The advantage of this kind of combined transportation, is the stable schedule that I have already explained. Due to the recent political unrest in Myanmar, it is better to use Lame Shebang port in Thailand than Yangon port in Myanmar, as the schedule is more stable. I talked about the advantages of land bridge transportation using sea and amp, air and cross-border truck, but let's also talk about the disadvantages. Land bridge transportation involves more handling, such as transshipment of cargo, so it increases the possibility of cargo damage. Therefore, adequate packaging and cargo insurance are important. In addition, cross-border truck needs to change vehicles at the border, in case you have without a special license. For example, a vehicle from Thailand cannot be driven in Myanmar. Because of it, we need to transshipment to other vehicles at the border, however, if the cargo is loaded in bulk, or known to be expensive, there is an increased risk of theft. Including another video, you might understand, that there are various combinations of transport methods for land bridge transportation, with advantages and disadvantages. If you want to reduce costs or speed up delivery, you are better to consult with the forwarder you do business with, to find the transportation method that best suits your situation. I provide information on trade and international logistics in this channel, please subscribe it. That's all for this time. As a hub of Northeast Asia, Korea has both large district park, China on the left, and Japan on the right. Korea also serves as a logistics center in Northeast Asia through advanced logistics facility, equipment, and human network. Korea is uh, playing a pivotal role in the world logistic development in the age of smart logistics. Finally, I will close the lecture by saying that the interest and the importance of international logistics are increasing over time. The solution to this is expected to be found in smart logistics. For any inquiry, please feel free to contact me as below. Thank you.